What's up everyone? Welcome back for another beautiful day. Or I should say a gloomy day that's actually not a million degrees, which is exciting. We're not in the Cruising by Design studio, and that's because tomorrow I leave to Texas. So I don't really have time to get down to the shop, work on everything, bring the car back, all this, etc., whatever. So today, it's just gonna be you guys and me. We're gonna um, be working on the Cayman. Last week, we cut the front bumper and this is kind of how we left it. I know you guys might be asking, Tyler, why did you cut this $1,500 bumper? That's because the fitment wasn't that great and I need it to be perfect. And you may be asking yourself, how are you gonna fix it? How are you gonna get those metal plates out and the holes that you made? Here's my strategy on how I'm gonna fix this. I'm not gonna say this is the right way that you guys should try on your car. What I'm gonna do, because right now the fitment of this is really nice. What I mean by that is you can see right here, this bumper line, um, it all lines up, fits snug. Look at that, like a glove, baby. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this headlight out, probably gonna put tape on the back side of this bumper. While this plate is still on, I'm gonna take two sections. I'm going to uh, take some Bondo glass, which is Bondo infused with fiberglass. That stuff is incredibly strong. Um, and what I'm gonna use it for is to hold its positions. Last week, you guys saw me drill this piece of metal into this bumper, and I have a little bracket right here. Now, these aren't like permanently attached to the car, and if I were to pull it off, it, it has the possibility of moving, right? So what I wanna do is take the Bondo glass, just a small enough section to where I know this bumper is gonna hold its shape strongly, and then I can take it off reinforce the entire back side of this thing with like four or five layers of fiberglass and then come from the front and fill this the remainder of the crack with more bondo glass sand it down and then take some body filler and make this like perfect and it will be really strong and actually put the strength and rigidity back into this bumper i probably said that really really dumb but like it makes sense in my head <laughs> And, and I, I know it's gonna work. I know some of you guys out there are probably way more experienced with fiberglass than I am. So I'd love to hear it in the comments down below, your method of doing this. Do you guys think this is right and good? Or is it like, no bueno? Well, I'm gonna do it and I'll find out later from you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get to working. I'm actually gonna throw you guys onto a GoPro and we're gonna rip this thing apart and see how I like that camera angle better. <laughs> This actually could have been done super fast if I would have brought my fucking sander. This is definitely not the move. I'm doing this by hand. Obviously, as you witnessed, I tried sanding this by hand and uh, that definitely wasn't the move. And I forgot my orbital sander at home. I had to use a wood sander. It's fine, it worked. Worked really well, actually. Way better than using my hand. So it got it got the job done, all right? I sanded this so that the Bondo glass and the fiberglass has something to adhere to so that we can actually make a strong connection in between these two pieces so that when we pull this off the car, this piece and this little jank bracket that we have made on the back of this don't change its position that's what we the biggest key is we need this to hold its position and i have little faith in this bracket and little faith in this bracket that if i pull this whole thing off that this will stay in the position that it needs to so like i said i'm gonna fiberglass or bondo glass whatever you want to call it this whole section right here and hopefully make this really strong and this whole section right here it's gonna look real ugly but we're gonna try and make sure that it's strong in these two areas strong enough to hold this bumper in the exact position that it needs to so when i pull it off we can sand the back side reinforce it i don't know what the fuck i'm saying okay let's get to let's get to work Oh, nice. 
definitely this is not right. This shit should not be liquidy like that. It should be like an actual squeeze like that. But um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> this shit is going to get um, wrecked. Well, we're gonna try. working on right here getting this shoved into the crack because we want a little overspill on the back and the reason being is because we want it to like really make a strong bond together like you see that one you see that one's like super brown it's not really what we want we want more of this green color All right, so what I've done is I've mixed up all the Bondo glass. And what you can see from the beginning is that this stuff is a little bit old. It's been sitting in my uh, in my shed for a little while. So the first one that I did right here was a little liquidy with the, the hardening agent. And uh, yeah, you got this really dark brownish reddish color, which means there's way too much hardener in here. And it is gonna be like, it just dried super fast. Now I know. What some of you are thinking, you're probably like, Tyler, mm, it's probably not the move. Doesn't look good. Where are you going with this, bro? Because uh, this is what it looks like. So what you're looking like right here, looking like right here. Gooped up all right here, and gooped up all right here. Typing away in the comments, I see it, you're like, yikes. That's probably not the move, it doesn't look good. That's okay. This is not meant to look good whatsoever, okay? It's not. This is just meant to be gooped on here, just like this, to be as strong as possible. So I'd like, if you notice, one of the first things that I did was I made sure that I pushed the, the filler into the crack and I stuffed it into the crack and then layered it on top. I want that because I want there to be some overspill onto the back and then I want it to be in this crack and on top of it just like really thick yeah and as you can see it's like it's solid already now all of this that you see here that i've done today this big old mess that i made all of it will be sanded off none of that will stay so all this excess shit, you're like man that's a lot that's a lot of mess yeah all this had to get sanded anyways okay maybe to some of you guys there's a better way to do this but this is what i was thinking i know it looks ugly right now so what i'm gonna work on doing i'm gonna Go to the store, go get some more resin because I'm not gonna use the old resin that I have. Obviously I learned with the Bondo glass when it sits for a little bit, it's probably not gonna be the greatest. So I'm gonna go run, get some more resin, um, jack this thing up. By the time I get back, I think this should be strong enough for me to pull it off, hopefully. Yeah, so let's get all that done. One hour later. It's been about an hour. Now it's time to just pull this bumper off. Fingers crossed this thing stays together. It feels really strong. I've been poking it. It feels pretty strong, but uh, we'll see. Let's see if I can get this extension here. Maybe we did it. That's oh, it's on the other side. Oh, fuck yeah. Extensions for the win. Would you look at that? Boom. Mission of freaking accomplished. Yes. I know you guys think it's ugly, but look what that just did. This is now in the position that it needs to be. Strongly. Completely. Let's do this off. Look at that. All the way in the back. Securing this all together. Pull out this tape. Heck yeah. Get a better angle over here. Bonded these two panels together. That's exactly what we wanted this to do. Yes. 
Yes, yes. That worked successfully. That worked exactly how I planned. All right, boys, so we are going to sand the back of this bumper. Then we're going to put the fiberglass structure. Like I said, we're gonna put probably four or five sheets a fiberglass mat back there to make it thick, to make the buildup super strong, and then come back in and fill the front. This is gonna be great. Worked out exactly how it needed to be. I know I'm, st I'm hyped on something stupid, but like, feels good when ideas work. And I'll, I'll read the comments down below that you guys are making saying, ah, you're doing that so wrong. It's fine, it's gonna work. Now what I'm gonna do is sit in the back of this and um, start fiberglassing. Is this the right tool for the job? Probably not. Is it the right tool for the job right now? Absolutely. Okay, so what I've done is ground down all of the Bondo glass that we had just put on the bumper. Like I said, this stuff dries really, really strong, really, really fast. Um, sorry for the poor adjectives to describe it. But if you guys look over here, now you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. This is the Bondo glass that went all the way through that I then ground down, flushed in to be even with this. This is still ridiculously strong. Um, I can hold the bumper up by this. It's pretty crazy how strong this bond actually is together. And this is what we're gonna fiberglass, this whole thing. Just to add extra strength. There's gonna be five sheets of fiberglass mat and resin in here so that this will be nice and thick. And then if you come here to the other side, same thing. Strong bond, ground it all the way down to be flush. This is all sanded down and uh, ready to get fiberglass. We're gonna cut up some fiberglass mats, we're gonna mix up some resin, and we're gonna work on one side at a time, and we're gonna go piece by piece, get this thing bonded together. This is exciting, the bumper is coming together. After I put the fiberglass in here, like this thing's actually gonna be bonded together how it should be. I have swept and blown all the residual fiberglass dust from everything. I washed this bumper and dried it completely, and now we are ready for fiberglass. Like I like what I'm seeing. Now we up, day of green, play full. Yeah, we eating. Now you can't ignore this feeling when you got it from him seeing. Why these niggas be out there? You find love, why you cheating? She know that I'm never leaving. They won't be, but they vegan. I don't know why they on that. Get a pack, then I roll that. She got ass, tell her throw that. Start her on, it's a throwback. Just a straight road, I don't even pay toes. The boy G, yes, and I ain't talking yay though. It's been a living legend since I was like a day old. I remember days. Hey, I remember days though, listening to Drake though Had to up my profile, had to up my payroll Getting too high, yeah you know I had to lay low Getting too fried, eating on some fucking big dough Here is one side completely resined I don't know if I used too much hardener, not enough hardener But this is what we got We got a little bit of extra drip down here too That's okay I guess It's kind of hard not to get it to pull When like gravity is literally making it go that way every time without fail you guys when i do fiberglass work i feel like a chicken running around with its head cut off that is a solid solid patch right there when that cures that's going to be bonded so well to this bumper because not only do we have thick nice coats of resin 
we have five sheets of fiberglass matting behind that. That's gonna be ridiculously strong. On top of when we go back in to fill the other side, we will use that Bondo uh, Duraglass stuff that is the fiberglass infused uh, body filler. With th that stuff is ridiculously strong. So we'll fill the crack with that, and then we'll do the regular Bondo body filler on top to bring back um, the nice smooth and uh, smooth texture and make sure that all the imperfections are out. All right, you guys, now's the time. I'm gonna mix up some more resin, get this side done, and in two hours, the resin says it should be fully cured and ready to be sand. Sand, sanded. Alright guys, here it is. The bumper is completely fiberglass together. This side's already drying, so I'm like, look at that. I can already touch it. There's nothing on my hands. It's not tacky or sticky. That's super hard. So I feel like I used way too much hardener. This side is the side that just got done. It's still like wet and tacky, so hopefully this one dries and gets hardened. Last time I used too much, hopefully I didn't use not enough. What I decided to do is I'm gonna let this cure for an entire week before I bolt this um, up and let it hang on its own weight. I want this thing to be fully cured before I start putting any stress on it. I think that's a better move. So I am calling it for this video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you guys have not subscribed, Click subscribe. You do not want to miss any of these builds. We make new videos every single Tuesday. With that, that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We're out of here. Peace.